Hey guys, Stephanie here. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Let's get a cracking into what is lacking, dude. Andrew Yang. He felt love for Kamala and Corey. Because they're people of color. Dude, I'm sorry, but every black African American person in this country should be livid. Livid. He goes from saying he's a he's not a person of color. He's Asian. People need to stop this. There's actually people right now who are white shooting themselves up with a medical substance that turns them black. This is a real thing. Google it. How white people are becoming black. They shoot themselves with a chemical to turn the pigmentation black. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're supposed to not see color, right? We're not supposed to judge on black or white, but Democrats keep focusing on this. Obama pretty much made it a staple point that Christians, God-loving people are crazy, sociopathic, weirdos, they need to be in mental hospitals, but all praise Allah, right? Allah is the best. People are Islamophobe. I lied about being Muslim. I said I was Christian. I just didn't want to hurt people's feelings. Just like Comey, right? Comey is like, um, it was just a minor over thing. No, it wasn't. It was big, dude. They've put people in jail right now for not remembering tiny little things. But these people can go around and not only misrepresent these facts, but lie about them and come back and make it a parody or they were just being overzealous or, you know, like Chris Como, this dude <laughs> with Andrew Yang acting like Andrew Yang is like an ex-slave who has felt harshness. This is the same guy, mind you, like a week, two weeks ago. He had two dudes on their knees and he was putting whipped cream in their mouth saying, yeah, this is how you go about it presidential style. And even his own security guard was like, no, no, come on, stop, stop. Because nobody really does this shit. Like who does this? Who, who, like Kamala Harris, she sent tons of people to prison for weed. But then she lied about smoking weed in college, saying that she was listening to like Biggie and Tupac, but they weren't even around then. They weren't even a thing then. So then you have Buttigieg drinking in a public park illegally. You have Andrew Yang saying he's a person of color and how Asian Americans are threatened. I'm sorry, but I'm white and I am so sick of hearing about all the injustices for all these other people besides blacks. Obama promised blacks what they put him in office for. And what did he do? He extended unemployment. He um, rewarded women who didn't have men in the home. I mean. Him, Clinton, and uh, George Bush. This has been a thing for like 30 years plus. JFK tried to warn us about the evils and all that. He was assassinated. Then, they don't have the technology we do now. If we didn't have the technology we did now, Trump, he would have been assassinated too. But because of the technology and people seeing how these Democrats right now will literally cut each other's balls off and eat them to save their own fucking face. That's why they're switching to the Republican. Because Nancy Pelosi, they all went too far. Just like right now. Why is Obama, Clinton, why are they still out there talking? You got Clinton on uh, the Howard Stern show. She's against misogynist, all these creepy men, right? What the fuck is Howard Stern, dude? Your husband with, was with Epstein. Oh, Epstein didn't kill himself. Hillary, Hillary, you did, bitch. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is what people are sick of. 
We're sick of watching these elites, like Jesse Smollett, fake a hate crime against white people, MAGA supporters, Trump supporters. What does he get? After all those millions of dollars in corruption, community service. You have um, a man, several men actually, dutifully so, um, slipped women the um, baby go bye bye pill, like baby's gonna go bye bye, because there's women out there. I'm sorry, I stand up for men. I really do, because right now this hate men, every masculinity thing is awful. Blah blah. No, it's not. I mean, I'm sorry, but if a guy smells better than me. No, no, it's gross, dude. Women love men. We don't want this pussy shit, you know? So, anyways. So, you know, you got a man who's terrified that this girl is going to have the baby just to entrap him. Okay, he's terrified of being entrapped because, you know, when it comes to women have rights and my choice, my body, well, men, I'm sorry... I'm analytical, factual. I see it as it's a two-person system, okay? If a man doesn't want to partake in raising a child and you want to have it on your own, you shouldn't be able to sue him. You shouldn't be able to go after him. So when women become vindictive or spiteful and purposely get pregnant just to persecute a guy or go after him or hold him down, men really don't have a say in our justice system right now. So there's men out there who did something like this guy. Put baby go bye bye pill, facing capital murder, life in prison, all right? Life in prison for that. Skylar Richardson, blonde little teenager girl, has a baby, kills it, buries it in her backyard. She gets a couple years probation. Takasi, what, six nine? All right, check this out. This dude, all right, oh my God. He's going to be getting out in August and a couple of years probation on like guns, trafficking, drugs, all this. But there's a Hispanic dude who burned an LGBTQ flag and he got 15 years in prison. 15 years in prison for burning a flag. <laughs> oh my God. But Takashi, you know, like pay to play, celebrities, college admissions, they get a little slap on the hand. Felicity got 15 days. If it were me or you, we would serve the fullest extent. That is the problem with everything. It's this two tier system. That's the problem with it. So Andrew Yang, Thank you for your $1,000 check. That's just because you guys have, there is um, called micro mobility. And what they do is they take the carbon emission, which is bullshit because the magnetic poles have been shifting. Okay. When the magnetic poles shift, it releases a significant amount of CO2 into the O ionosphere I believe that's correct ionosphere yeah so right now our poles are shifting that's why the climate is changing that's why you and also Soros is buying all these like big lands over in Africa like Jack Dorsey packing up moving to Africa oh my gosh you guys you have no idea how deep this gets and I can get into it but I will go even further and I'm not trying to right now but it just goes to show that if me and you, like average day people, would have committed a crime like college admissions and guns and, you know, Jesse Smollett, fake hate crimes. We would for real do some time. But these people, no. Mm -mm. They have excuses. And Andrew Yang, people of color. That right there, dude, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're pandering. And then he went on to go into Asians. What about the African-American people? What about the dreamers? Because like Nancy Pelosi and all them want to come back and take like credit for things. But the truth is they're not doing it. It's Trump. But the mainstream keeps castrating him. But people like me, I will continue to come on here. And even though my makeup and hair will not always look that great. And like right now, I'm so tired. I've had like 
bathroom remodeling going on all day in my house and they're like priming and painting and I think the paint fumes are getting to me I'm not gonna lie because they're very strong but oh my god I usually have my kids here dogs I have so much going on but I'm going to make it a point to not overthink things get on here record a video regardless of how I look blah 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 one day I'll have people who will do my hair and makeup for me and I don't have to worry about this shit but until then some days I'll look fabulous some days I'll look rough some days mediocre all right guys honestly hang in there and I'm wishing everyone a merry last Christmas because you know what I would think that for Nancy Pelosi, being a Catholic and all, I would think anybody who's a human being would have enough compassion to respect that, hey, it's the holidays, it's Christmas. Let people just be happy right now. Can you just shut up? Like, leave it alone. Let us have this moment because you've given us nothing but hell for how many years? And, oh, there's also a law to where Trump, yes, he'll be able to go for a third term. You know why? The Democrats are the dumbest criminals ever. All this harassment they've done to Trump and everybody in his life basically qualified him to start all over again. So Obama's comment when he was still in office about how everybody would get him for a third term, blah, 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 blah. Dude, karma's a bitch. I'm telling you. Democrats, dumbest criminals ever. They're like the criminals you would see on one of those videos who throws a brick into plexiglass not knowing it's plexiglass like it's glass and the brick would hit them on the head and knock them out. But they would turn around and sue the plexiglass company because the brick hit them and knocked them out. This is where our society is. So, love you guys. Thank you for everything. Like, subscribe, share. Bye. Merry Christmas.